Hi and welcome to Painting in the Woods. I'm in the woods. Well, I'm on a trail and I'm looking for the right trees to paint. I think I found one that's quite nice. So I might, I'm just looking for the best angle from this tree. I did this a long time ago. Don't like it, so I'm going to paint over it. But I didn't bring any white with me, so... I didn't bring any white. Ugh. Right, so here I am painting over the old painting using sap green and lemon yellow. You can see here I'm just trying to cover the deer first because it was quite strong underneath. I wanted to get rid of the uh, painting underneath. Uh, using different size brushes here, a small brush to get in between um, and using burnt umber and cobalt blue for the, the tree in the foreground here. Um, it's really great to actually copy from a tree in real life because it's very hard to make up a natural object like a tree. So you can see here I'm looking quite a lot at the actual tree. Um, before I paint the branches and then you just get the hang of it and you can do it from memory then it's great um, so yeah this is a small round bristle brush and that's the stage I was at at that point and here I'm using this, this bigger brush here to mix in the background and blend it all in this brush is great because it's um, flat and you can use it up and down um, for the bushes you can turn it up and use it vertically to, to get some of the fuzzy trees in the background because this is the only tree you want detail on you see I'm using here a very small brush and the small amount of white that I did find on the palette for the tree in the foreground um, obviously talking to myself in the woods you're always worried that someone's gonna just hear you talking to yourself which is a little bit odd anyway I quite like the way it's looking at the moment so I'm gonna leave it before I ruin it one thing about painting outside is sometimes you you rush things. Well, um, someone did actually catch me uh, talking to myself in the woods, so I came back to the studio and I'm holding the painting here very carefully. You can see I did a lot more to the painting, I had a lot more things to it in the shed. I um, wonder what my friend Jim Pooley thinks of this painting. Hello, this is Jim taking another look at one of Ollie's paintings. Another beautiful day today. Um, who would have thought four months ago that it was tipping down with snow? Uh, but I suppose that's the seasons for you. Ollie sent us another picture from his uh, woodland paintings. Uh, it's a really nice picture actually. Um, really like the choice of colours, uh, particularly the greens, really vibrant and summery, uh, and the inclusion of water. But generally, where you find water, you also find litter, and um, this picture is no different really. Um, this woman seems to be tracking something in the uh, in the river. I'm not sure if it's an apple or something. I'm not sure quite what Ollie means by that. You know, what he's trying to say. Is he trying to make a stand for recycling or, or something? If that was the case, I would think something like a shopping trolley probably would have been a better choice, but uh, that's just me. Anyway, I hope that helps, and uh, hopefully we'll have something else to look at very soon. Thanks, Jim. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, episode. I've changed the format a little bit, and I will be changing that to make the videos a bit faster. I had a little bit of input from my friend Pete, who said that maybe I uh, go on too much, and there's not enough sort of painting, and there's a bit too much uh, intro and stuff, so I kind of got rid of that. But I like this painting. It's called Return to Faith. Um, that apple that she's dropping into the water could represent anything in your life that would prevent you from um, finding that deeper meaning that you know that relationship with God or whatever that you had um, there's a, yeah there's a lot more to it but I think that you know if you if you get something from this painting that's great and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon take care